Hello, I'm Laura Bush. I'm happy to join you for International Literacy Day. International Literacy Day unites all of us around one of my favorite pastimes, reading. I want to send a special thanks to my friend and the Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bakova, and congratulations to the winners of UNESCO's 2012 International Literacy Prizes in Colombia, Bhutan, Indonesia, Rwanda, Niger, and Morocco. Their exemplary programs serve as an inspiration to everyone working in the field of literacy. From my earliest days as a teacher in Texas to the classrooms I visited around the world, my experiences reinforce my belief that literacy and education should be our most urgent priority and should have the highest call on our time and resources. Every child should learn to read, and literacy is an essential foundation for stable and prosperous nations. When mothers learn to read, they teach their children and they're more likely to be advocates for their children's education. Studies show that educated women raise healthier families. Literate people know how to follow the instructions on a medicine bottle and they're more likely to know how diseases like HIV and malaria are transmitted so they can make informed decisions that will keep themselves and their families safe. Citizens who are educated can choose for themselves, make up their own minds, and assume their responsibilities as citizens. In fact, the advantages of a reader over a non-reader are so profound that you would think people would be marching in the streets demanding to be taught to read. As the UNESCO Ambassador for the United Nations Literacy Decade, I'm happy that we have indeed made great strides for literacy. But while we celebrate our progress, we must stay dedicated to elevate education and literacy as global development priorities. Every country is responsible for the education of its citizens, and each country represented today enthusiastically supports programs that teach their citizens to read. Every person should have the ability to read, and even more than that, the freedom to read what they wish, to form their own opinions, and to speak their minds without fear. Education helps freedom thrive. Education can help people see beyond a world of hopelessness to one of unlimited opportunity. And education benefits all and should be available to all. Even as the UN Literacy Decade comes to a close this year, there remain 776 million illiterate people in the world. So let's unite to call the world's attention to education and literacy. Thank you all. And thank you for taking a stand for literacy.